So in this week's video, I want to empower you to take back control of your business model. And I know I say it every week, but what I want to talk about this week is what you're actually doing in your accounting firm. What I see a lot of accountants doing is just following what everybody else is doing. We need to do cloud accounting. So everybody rushes into cloud accounting. We need to do, offer bookkeeping services. We offer bookkeeping. We need to do T1. So we're going to do T1. We need to do, or sorry, T1s. That's Canadian version of personal taxes. So we need to do personal taxes. Okay, great. We need to do advisory. Let's do advisory. Whatever the fuck that is. We don't know what advisory is, but we. everybody else is doing it. So we got to do it. We got to do audits. We got to do uh, compilations, notice readers, review engagements, all this stuff. I just want to break this down for a sec. Take it really simple. The center of your accounting firm, okay, your accounting firm is you. This is you right there. That's the center. It's your firm. You get to decide what you do. I want you to know that. You don't have to do what everybody else does, okay? You really don't. So here's the thing, here's you, and I want you to figure out what are all the services? What are all the types of services you could provide clients, right? What are all those things that you could do? So here's some audit over here. Here's uh, tax returns, personal ones, right? Let's just go personal tax returns. Uh, over here, oh, let's do some bookkeeping. There's bookkeeping over here. There's uh, financial statement preparation. Oh, maybe we'll do um, mergers and acquisitions, right? M&A, mergers and acquisitions. I should just M&A, right? Maybe we do that. Maybe we're a tax specialist, so we're gonna do tax, tax specialty, right? Um, oh, there's, uh, sorry, what I had in here. What was the one that I said before? Um, oh, <laughs> right, advisory. Whatever the hell that means. Um, but you know, what I'm saying is like, what I provide accounting firms is, is what's known as profit advisory. So you could advise your clients on how to do their profit. You could help them with business, business advisory services. This, what I'm getting at is there's, there's all sorts of things you can choose, okay? But I want you to choose and do what you wanna do in a model that you wanna do it in. So if you're happy doing tax returns, personal tax returns, you love doing a whole bunch of them in, in March or March and April, great, go do it, have at her, enjoy it. If you wanna create an accounting firm that does bookkeeping, go for it, have at her, okay? It's fantastic. If you wanna do audits, go ahead, do it, okay? Now, the only thing is for me, I'm gonna warn you ahead of time what I think is not a good place to go. That's all I do here is I kind of warn you of it, but ultimately it's yours. Now here's the funniest thing. I got this, we got a new clients. Um, you've seen a couple videos. Um, they finally, I gave them permission to get rid of the things that they didn't want to do, okay? And they were so excited that they actually decided to um, advertise what they no longer want to do. And so they sent me this wonderful t-shirt, this wonderful t-shirt, which I think is absolutely hilarious because they decided that this was not going to happen anymore for them. They were going to get rid of that. And I love it. Okay. I love it because they're taking back control of their business model. Right. And this is quite serious. Like, isn't that great? It's hilarious, but they don't want to do it. So don't do it. And that's what I'm saying. If you love audits, great, go for it. Have at it, do audits. If you like bookkeeping, do bookkeeping, if you, whatever it is. But I want you to decide what you want in your accounting practice and then take all the things you don't like and get rid of them. I had this one firm that argued with me. It was unbelievable. I kept saying, do you like bookkeeping? They're like, no. I said, are you very good at it? No, we're horrible at it. Most professional accounting firms are horrible at bookkeeping, by the way. No, no, we're horrible at it. I analyzed their books for them. I analyzed this department. They were losing over $200,000 a year. $200,000 a year. They were losing on this. But they thought for some reason that if they didn't do that, they were going to lose the financial statements, the opportunity for mergers and acquisitions and estate planning and tax specialty. Tax, like this, they needed to have, they had to do this. So they kept doing something they weren't good at, they were losing money at, and because they thought we were gonna get all the rest of the things. It's nuts, okay? You don't need to. You don't need to. So, and if you're 
curious on how you can maneuver all that stuff, that's why I have the Accountant Success Formula Coaching Program. Reach out to me, let's have a conversation, see if we're a fit to work together. If so, great. If not, have at her. Go back, do what you want. But my clients have decided what they don't want to do and I'm super happy about that for them. Awesome. So there you go. You're at the center of your business, you take back control of it. So there you go, I'm Eric Solback, and reminding you that when you take back control of your business model, you can take back control of your life. Stay tuned for more success tips to come.